He's seven years old in the playground, the first time they tell him he's different. 12 years old when he finds out why. Fag, puff, queer, sick. Some of the words that will sting as they ring in his ear for the rest of his life. The teenage years bring a push, a shove, and a bottle to the back of his head. The deafening confusion of his feelings is almost unbearable. He lives in a world that hates him. Half his family disown him, the other half embrace him. That boy is me. And his story is the same for millions of men and women in this country and around the world. A second class citizen, cleverly tossed aside by society and the state. Prevented from giving blood because ours is dirty. To take a lover's hand in marriage or to simply hold it in public is something that can drown us in fear of attack. To marry the one that you want to spend the rest of your life with, the one that you want to grow old and die with, is not a privilege, it's a human right. That seven-year-old boy once bullied in the playground is now bullied by his government and his country. A yes vote will mean that those isolated kids will be able to have the same dreams and aspirations of love as their mother, father, sister or brother. Vote for the teachers who have to hide their relationships, for the lesbians attacked on this street, or for the man who was brutally beaten in this park and then died. I don't want to get down on one knee and ask my soulmate to get civil partnership. I want to ask him to marry me. The work and legacy of Norris, Robinson, thousands of protesters and even Wilde has gotten us this far but we need to go further. Our love has the same meaning, value and importance as anyone else's. Ireland, on May 22nd, we have the chance to make history. We know how we'll vote. Do you?